I will be showing you how to measure or how to take your own body measurement in this video. All you will need is a tape measure and you can find this at any Walmart, Kmart, fabric store, um, um, craft store. They're very easy to find and they're normally under $3. So they're very cheap. I have a few of them. I have one in my gym bag. I have one in my luggage. I have one in my sewing room. Um, Cause they can be very, very, very great indicators of whether you're getting bigger or whether you're getting smaller. So if you're trying to gain weight, this can be a very good indicator. If you're trying to lose weight, it can be a very good um, indicator. As long as you stay consistent far as making sure you place it in the same area every time you're trying to measure, making sure it's taut and leveled and making sure that is not slack, you don't have too much slack in it, but you don't want it real tight, but you don't want it to have slack in it when you're trying to measure. So let's get started. The first area we're going to measure is the neck. And I have a mirror here so I can make sure it's sorta of level. So you take it and you place it around the neck. And when you're measuring around the neck, you're measuring you want to place the tape measure in the Adam's apple area, right across the Adam's apple. And yes, women do have Adam apples, but they're just more pronounced in men. So you want to place it right here. And let's see, right here would be my measurement. And we're right at 14 for my my neck. That seems sort of wide for a neck. Oh, whatever. Next is the chest. And for men and women, you want to place it at the nipple line. And you want to make sure it's even in the back. And you want it level. And I'm right at this level. I'm right at 37 and 1 eighth. So it was right in here. 37 and 1 1 eighth for my chest. Next it will be the waist. And with the waist, you also make sure you place it at the narrowest part of the waist. If you don't have a narrow part, you place it at the belly button. So my narrow area would be right in here. And you don't want to squeeze your stomach in when you're taking this measurement and like you want it to be level, you need to come up some, and you want it to have no slack in it, and it's right at 31 and a half. Right here at 31 and a half. I hope y'all can see this. Okay, next is the, next are the hips. With the hips, you put your feet together and you want to put it on the widest part of the hips and that's with your feet together let me see can I turn around because it's not level it's level back here and is right at 47, no, 46 and 3 fourths. So I'm right at 47, no, 46 and 3 fourths, right in here. So 
that's the hip. Next is the thighs, and you want to measure 10 inches above the patella, which is the knee. Yeah, perfect, right? And um, 10 inches above the knee would be right in here. So you want to hold that there. Put this. It's always easier to just have someone to do this for you, but I didn't have anyone who I wanted to do do it, so I had to do it myself. Come on, this can't be that difficult. Right in this area. And like I said, 10 inches above the knee. You want to make sure it's level, which is now it's level. And it's, is it level? Yeah. Right at, where is that? 26 and 3 fourths. So right in here. So my, t my thigh is 26 and 3 fourths. Next is the calves, and with the calves, you want to measure the widest part of the calf. So it would be right in here. Is that? No, it's not level. And with the calves, is that level now? And it's 15 and like 3 sixteenths. Is that level? Yeah. Like 15 and 3 sixteenths. So it's right in here. So that's the calves. Oh, next and last is the biceps. And with the biceps, this is always so difficult because you got to extend your arm and turn your palm facing forward. And is this, and that's the widest part of the bicep, so mine would be a little further down, like right in here. And make sure it's level. Yep. And face your palm forward. It's 12 and 3 eighths. It's right in here. This is so irritating when I can't do the biceps. But I'm all, I always have problems with the biceps. But that's your circumference measurement. That's how you measure your own body. If you have questions, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching.